everybody. Welcome to the channel. My name is Lindsay, and this is Life with Lindsay. Today, we have an unboxing. This is part two of my Diamond Art Club Black Friday unboxings. Uh, if you have missed the first one, I will leave that one for you guys up in the eye. So, without further ado, let's see what we are doing. If you are new here, hi, welcome. My name is Lindsay. I do mainly diamond painting and other crafting-related content. Uh, I would love for you to like, subscribe, hit the bell, hop aboard the Hot Mess Express. Let's be friends. Choo-choo. If you've been here before, hi, welcome back. Okay, so I wasn't sure uh, if this one was going to be round or square. The other canvas was square. This is a round drill canvas. You can tell by the fuchsia magenta line as well as the round symbol but what did we get this is alice in wonderland in the pansy garden by simona candini if you guys did not know it i love me some simona candini um oh my gosh she is so cute this is the same size as the other canvas which puts me in my happy spot this is a 56 by 71 again a round drill canvas <sighs> you guys, when they were releasing the Black Friday releases, every time a new one released, I was like, oh, is it going to be a Simona Candini? Is it going to be Alice in Wonderland? You guys, they gave us two. Two. So, um, this one is the in the Pansy Garden. I, um, I love them both. I cannot wait. I wasn't sure if they would be here in time for the event, but alas, they both are, which complicates my decision as to what should I work on this time. Ooh. Here is your round toolkit. Only difference, major difference between this and the square is this one does not have a pair of tweezers. Um, making sure I get everything out of the box. I hope that you guys are doing well. And that you're having a lovely day, evening, whatever time of day it is for you. Here is the small sticker. Some people put this on their boxes. I will put this one in my logbook. Look how cute she is. Oh, you have your Diamond Art Club Do What Makes You Sparkle branded dust cover. Uh, mine, once they come off, they're off. I know there are people out there who get good use out of them. I'm not those people. Let's see. All right. Ooh, oh, she got a lot of colors. Okay, so she has 58 <coughs> colors, including four ABs. Holy moly, you guys. Um, look at these little pansies with their little faces. Uh, oh my gosh. Oh, I'm really curious if that, I just think I drooled on myself. Um, if that Queen of Hearts and Ace of Hearts will translate, we'll see. We'll look at the rendering in a moment here. Um, here is your step-by-step -step instructions. Listen, Diamond Art Club never wants you to pay full price. There's a code in your book. There's a code on your packing slip. There's a code on the box. Um, I have a code. I have an affiliate code. If you are a first-time purchaser, uh, you can use code Sparkle Squad. I'll put that up on the screen here. Um, it is an affiliate code, so I do make a small commission off of that. It is not something that I would ever ask you guys to do unless you felt like you wanted to. So if you have used my code, thank you so much. It is always appreciated. I am just rolling her backwards. <sighs> okay. So I got to say, if, if you guys don't know it by now, I love Alice in Wonderland. I love Simona Candini. Whoa. You guys, oh my god, I think this would work up super, super quickly. Um, let me move some stuff over. Look at her face, like for comparison's sake, like that's my hand. It's probably two palms. There is so much color blocking in here. This canvas is so shimmery, too. The little queen of hearts. Oh, that's gonna be so cute! Oh my god, okay. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Look at her. These pansies are going to be so gorgeous. I think I might... There's not a yellow EB, is there? No, I think I might want to add, like, some yellow or orange crystals in that. That might really make it pop. The cutie. Look at the Cheshire Cat. Such a cutie patootie. If you guys like color blocking, but you like smaller sections of color blocking, this is the kind of canvas for you. Um, you'll be able to use your color, your multiplacer, for larger chunks, like, down in the bottom here. But then you'll have these smaller chunks like in the grass here that will change colors, but it will still allow you to use a multiplacer if that is your thing. Oh, she is so pretty. You guys, I also want to say huge shout out to Diamond Art Club. Those first four symbols are numbers one, two, three, and four. That is one of my biggest pet peeves of life when it comes to diamond painting. Um, 
we have any that will be confusing? I mean, we've got this corner here and this corner here <laughs> that are both dark. But hopefully they are far enough apart that they won't give us any hassles. Okay, let's let's crack into the drills here. Let's flip her over. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful night. This is the last video you guys will see heading into the beginning of Alice in a Winter Wonderland. So there is still time to sign up if you guys have no idea what I'm talking about. I host a diamond painting event called Alice in a Winter Wonderland. And it is any Alice or Alice-themed diamond painting. Look how little that bag is. And I will link the event details, event recap, whatever I called it, in the eye there. Um, but any Alice or Alice-themed canvas. And all you have to do is fill out the Google Doc, which is in the description box of every single video in during this event. Um, you can sign up at any point. You can start on or after January 1st. And it is held over on Instagram. If you guys have any questions, feel free to shoot me a DM um, or send me an email. So let's check out our colors here. Interesting. So I don't know which ones are going to be used for the skin tone. But let's see what we got. So we've got greens and grays. That is a big old bag of 141. This is our first AB. If you do not know what an AB drill is, that is an Aurora Borealis. It is a regular drill that has this super shiny coating on it. You can see it's kind of reflecting pink and purple on it. 141 is Diamond Art Club's favorite AV. It's perfect, you guys. It works to accent and highlight pretty much everything. Um, lots of the grayish colors. Ooh. I'm intrigued. I'm going to guess this is the skin tone. 945. We will check that out when we get into it. If you guys have never, ooh, my canvas is sliding off the table, you guys. I don't know if you saw that. If you guys have never done a Diamond Art Club, they put theirs in order of weight. So, like, these have more in them than these bags do, which is really great if you are kidding up in something like an Elizabeth Ward container because those are done by size and not all the same size. Ooh, here we go. Here is 101. This is a beautiful light blue. It looks darker in camera than it does in person. All right. We've got two of our ABs out of the way. And this one is a round drill canvas. And here is another one of our ABs. This is a pale pink. It looks more... It looks lighter in camera than it does in person. Um, is that it? No, I've got one more. Here's the other one. And here is an even paler pink. Uh, let's see if we can compare the two. So here are the two. They are one DMC color away. They don't look that different in camera. This is more of like a light peachy pink. And this is more of like a pink pink. Like a bubblegum pink. Um, so that's nice. And then our last little... Little chain of drills over here. Look at these fun colors. Is that 550? Yep. If you guys are purple lovers, 550 is probably your favorite. Okay. Let's flip this bad boy over again. Lots of back and forth. And let's see where all those ABs are. Okay, we are back. So let's look at where we are putting the ABs. I will say I do like what they're doing here with the skin tone. So I think that that will translate really well. So, um, we've got one, two, three, and four. There's tons of fours in her eyes. Actually, the eyes have one, three, and four. Oh, my drills are busting open. You guys, I don't know how people rebag their drills and then they, like, look as beautiful as they did when you first got them. Um, anyway, we've got a bunch of fours in here, some twos and threes throughout here. There's a lot of fours in her dress, the collar, the skirt down here. Uh, as well as some ones here in the blue. And you have some fours in this pansy over here. It's a nice little sprinkling. I do like how they have it in her, um, in the flowers. Are there any in the hair? Do, 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 do. No, there is not. Which is fine. Um, I like the shades that they're using for the blonde and brown highlights in her hair. You guys, this is so beautiful. 
It's very similar, but also very different to the last Alice um, unboxing I did. I will link that one up in the eye if I haven't already. I have all of the Simona Candini Alice in Wonderland kits. You've got Alice in the White Rabbit House, which my husband did an unboxing. I'll link that one up in the eye as well. I have Alice in the Sea of Tears. I have Mermalice. Um, the Alice in the Sea of Tears without a shadow of a doubt, has been my favorite canvas to work on. I will leave the post review for that one up there as well. Um, I know I'm missing more, but you guys, there's not much to say. This, this is perfection. She is gorgeous. Treshire Cat is absolutely adorable. Um, I was just seeing if his uh, whiskers, couldn't think of the word, had any ABs. No, but there's a little one right on the nose. Boop. Um, I love this. I think this one is definitely... For those who don't like the more edgy, the darker side to an Alice in Wonderland image, I think this one is like the perfect juxtaposition of like sweet and beautiful. Uh, her face is gorgeous. You guys, these eyes, there are so many ABs in these eyes. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I hope that you guys will join us for the event um, and that you are just as excited. I do not want to lose these. Uh, for Alice in Winter Wonderland. If you are participating, let me know down below. If you guys have yet to fill out your Google Doc, please do so. Make sure you post a starting photo with an unstarted canvas to Instagram with the hashtag Alice in a Winter Wonderland. Please make sure that you are putting the A in it so it's not just Alice in Winter Wonderland or else you will be overlooked. And let's make this year's event even bigger than last year's. So that's all I got for you guys for this one. Um, I guess I didn't really check things like I normally do, like the sticky, sticky, super sticky. The symbol clarity on this is great. I didn't even mention that because I've been staring at it, but it is clear, 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 clear. No trip ups, no nothing. I am excited to work on this. I'm excited to work on all of the Alice canvases. Let's totally be honest here. But if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more videos like this or nothing like this at all, please make sure to give this video two thumbs up, one real life, one virtual. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Come. Join the Sparkle Squad. And while you're there, hit that notification bell. Dang. I do not operate on any sort of schedule. I operate on toddler standard time. And I record on my tiny human sleeping or sleeping. Thank you guys so much for being here. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.